you guys. So, I'm sick today, which is awesome, which means I'll be sick for my holidays. I'm not sure if it was the water, what I was doing yesterday. I knew it was uh, quite disgusting. Usually, I'm more resilient than this, so it must be something that I uh, ingested or something. Because I was eating and whatnot, I didn't have anywhere to wash my hands appropriately. So, uh, it was one of those cases. So hopefully, how bad I feel will clear up in a little bit, but that is not the case for today. I am boarding up a garage for a friend, putting in the pot lights, and I know once I get started, like, I'm already two hours late, but once I get started, I'm already feeling better now that I'm moving and stuff. Um, once I get started, <laughs> I will feel a lot better. And uh, did have two coffees this morning, so that, uh, that's starting to uh, kick in. And uh, away we will go. I don't think I'll be filming today. I'll just take some pictures and stuff. Um, it's boarding, like, it's not really a big deal. I might take a couple of little quick snips and videos and stuff, but uh, this one will just be one of the lower ends of my highly quality, highly quality. <laughs> high quality videos. Basically, I'm just slapping drywall up on a ceiling. Yep, that's it. So it's not too messy. But yeah, so we're gonna get this started. Well, apparently something got killed last night and a bunch of pros are all huddled around it. I'm not gonna show that, it's a skunk. Anyways. Go Gamecocks! That is the, uh, the phrase of today. Wear my Gamecocks hoodie. So, next week I'll be working on the theater room. As you guys know, I haven't posted any videos of that because it is brutal down there. I have fixed some of the wiring. And uh, I believe that'll be the uh, the biggest thing is just get that wiring all finished off looking good and re-insulate everything that needs to be insulated and then start uh, boarding it up that in itself could all take about a week because there's so much a mess there from the previous owner so I keep cleaning stuff up and I was lucky to just stretch the uh, the air conditioning wiring it just fit like literally just fit I had to cheat a little bit in a few areas as in I couldn't just go the, the route that I wanted to, so I had to make my own new route. And that's more wood that I had to cut into, which I hate doing, by the way. Because you're taking away structure every time you do it. People wonder why their floors move. So, that is what it is. We're almost to the, uh, the site. And, uh, as I said, uh, go Gamecocks, South Carolina. Football, yeah. Sorry, that, even, that makes me excited for some reason. I wonder why. Uh. <laughs> so we're almost at site, and we're gonna get this job going. The garage, as I was told, just needs to be boarded. However, that all changed, because once I saw it all, and saw where the wires need to go, well, and there's a cricket. You heard him all day. So I have to wire in the pot lights, I have to do all these signal wires for the garage door openers. And as you see here, the sensors are in place. The wires are just kind of sitting there. I'm going to cover that in place. And then we have the, uh, there's going to be two of these, one for either door. And I have wired all the sensor wires going throughout the garage. And then I rewired all of where the pot lights are going. And then I had to do the power for each of the garage doors, door openers. So... All of these things had to be done before I could actually start boarding, which is cool. I even had to do even had to do the wiring from the base panel because we eliminated that switch to put a smart switch in later, which you'll see. And that's just me cutting off the power, double checking it, because guys, today I'm not running with power on. And uh, away we go to the next step. So a last minute addition during the job was to add this outlet over and I powered it off of the power coming in for the furnace, which just has to be powering the fan. And inadvertently during the job, I somehow tripped 
G the GFI, which could be anything. Just even moving the wires could trip it. So figured that out after some searching and figuring things out. And it's connected to a switch on the wall, which again is part of the furnace thing. So once I plug this in and ask my friend to uh, turn it on, you'll see it light up. Boom. And then we check the upper one because again, this is where we're adding power and stuff. And you'll see that it's there, it works, and that's it. So now that a new outlet is installed, I've also gotten the garage door openers by the man door installed, and that's all wired through the conduit, as you'll see in a moment as I follow it around. And then we have momentary switches at the front of the garage where the car doors are, the, the garage doors, the actual garage doors. And then everything else is all wired through. So there's two wires for sensors, there's uh, two wires for the momentary switches or the garage door opener switches by both the man door and the garage doors themselves. And yes, it is a big giant mess, but in the end, it's worth it. And here we have a creation, someone's invention. And this is a brilliant idea. I used to do this all the time for uh, cutting out potholes, so potholes, pot lights, and to put a, a bowl or something underneath the uh, hole saw. This is just someone else's invention, which is quite brilliant. I wish I had a thought about this when I was younger, when I was using plates and bowls in a very similar fashion. So we added the pot lights to garage, and uh, that uh, tool is actually resizable, as you can see here. This is what it looks like at the end. And I just want to shout out to my uh, drywall stands. They help out quite a bit, and my drywall gun by Dewalt. So not only can I do jobs like this by myself, but I can also do them efficiently. Battery powered drywall gun, amazing. Friends are like, what kind of gun is that? I'm like, no, it's a drywall gun. It's not an actual gun. It kind of looks like an AK-47, but made by Dewalt. Anyways, that's a whole nother conversation me and my buddies have had. And if you look at the uh, the stands there, are, uh, that's what I'm using to hold up the, uh, the drywall pieces which is amazing. And then you can put the drywall tracks, sorry, the garage door tracks on top of the drywall. And it all turns out to be right as rain. So here we are. And this is what the garage looks like now with the lights on, the LED pot lights, you'll see. Oh wait, this is where I'm adding in the fourth pot light. Measured everything out and using the same tool just to get in the cut in. Brilliant tool, works up to I think eight inches. So that's a heck of a big pot light. I use them up to the six inches and uh, it's been good all the way along. Now here's the part of the, uh, the video where you get to see the entire garage. Four pot lights installed, the outlets for each of the garage door openers, all the wires are just behind that. And this is a smart switch, which I added in there. And apparently I just turned it on after turning it on. Oh, and then I'll remember, on. oh yeah, you gotta turn it off to be able to turn it off. And these lights are dimmable. They're quite brilliant, pun intended. They work really, really well for a cheap light from Costco. Hey guys, so we're done for the night. As you can see, it is night and it's eight o'clock as I'm leaving. Had dinner at the, my friend's place. They love the garage the way it's turned out so far. And I'll finish it up tomorrow after work because now all it is throwing up some drywall. I don't have to worry about the, all the wiring of all the garage doors and all the sensors and all the, the switches and all that nonsense. And uh, we had to chase down some electrical gremlins today, so you all know how that's fun. And uh, yeah, so now it's just slapping up the drywall and doing the mudding, and we are out. Everyone's happy, and I can enjoy my holidays of more renovations. Peace. <laughs>